Chicago's Korean community is eagerly watching the coverage leading up to the summit. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross spoke with members of the community and he joins us live now. Jeremy. Well, good evening, Jim. The building behind us is an area where many first generation Korean Americans will often gather. They offer them help inside and you could add optimism to that list. Hana means one, really about whole, um, one unified and uh, stronger together. In a joy of the HANA Center, says her organization is the merger of two Korean American advocacy groups, and she is hoping the word HANA will eventually describe the unity between North and South Korea and the tone of a history making meeting between the politicians involved. That's a long term, longer term vision that we believe that this talk can really get us on a path toward that vision. She estimates there are 80,000 Koreans living in Chicago. Her organization helps out 15,000 a year with things like social services, adding the majority have ties to South Korea, some separated from family in North Korea by military conflict and politics for more than a generation. Just yearning for that moment to see their family members. So um, I think that they're really, they're just very, very excited about this historical moment. There is the fear these talks may not exceed the depth of a simple photo op or a meeting between emotional leaders could increase rather than decrease tensions. But one word besides Hana describes the feeling for so many. Hope is the word that I would use to really describe the mood in this um, among Chicago Korean Americans. Joy believes if people rather than politics are the focus of talks, things will ultimately be successful. She adds she'll be visiting South Korea this upcoming week as part of a family trip. Live in Irving Park, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Jim. Hope is the mood, Jeremy. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 and CBSN online for continued coverage of this historic summit set for Tuesday.